Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool rotary candlestick telephone and a bell box. This is Arts Equipment from New York and the candlestick telephone is an AT&T. It's an American telegraph and telephone. It's model 323 and it's a rotary dial candlestick. We also have a bell box that was acquired later. He located that and then picked that unit up and so now uh, it's going to be a pair. And the bell box is already set up. It has its own line cord and it can be plugged in anywhere. So really we're going to uh, pay attention to the candlestick telephone because that's what needs to be worked on. We're also going to show the bell box in the final checkout. And I will go through the bell box, make sure it's all okay and everything is proper with that. But uh, we want to take a look at this candlestick telephone since this is the initial checkout. Now we've troubleshooted it a little bit and we know that the receiver capsule here does not have any audio. So we need to check the receiver capsule and we are going to check the handset cord here or the receiver capsule cord. It's a cloth cord and if it's good we're going to go ahead and use it because it looks like it has quite a bit of age on it and it has a paper sticker on it like they would have in the days that uh, this telephone came out. So I'm sure it's uh, got some age on it. Now we want to go through the rotary. That's going to be oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. And that will be taken care of. We also want to go through the candlestick and install a line cord, a cloth line cord on this candlestick telephone. Now I want to show you something real quick. This is what we found when we took the transmitter off and I might as well go ahead and loosen this one. This one wire was already disconnected. We are going to install an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. We're going to go ahead and get rid of uh, the transmitter that's here. It's the old metal diaphragm style. Now I'm going to try to do a picture of this tag here, but I want to show you that. It's an American telegraph and telephone company and it's a 323. So that might give you a look at it. And if the video doesn't pick it up, it doesn't matter because I'm going to do a still picture of it. And that's what this unit looks like. So we're going to go ahead and set that to the side for now. We want to go through the hook switch. We want to make sure that that's proper and cleaned and working. Now I want to show you the dial on this telephone. It's got a cool center card in the finger wheel there. So that's always a plus. We want to find a bottom plate for this telephone. We'll either uh, come across one, make one, or whatever. Art's not uh, too worried about that as long as it has some kind of plate on it. So we'll get that taken care of. Now, we have to go through this. Uh, I've been through it a little bit, like I said earlier, and there's a lot of improper things going on here with the wiring and from just the looks of it, I can tell that that is all going to have to be gone through and wired properly. I'm sure it's been through uh, many people over the years and there's probably been a lot of different uh, attempts to make the telephone work and it doesn't look like they were very successful. Now another issue I want to talk about is the rotary. If you notice here on the rotary there's a cam and I'm going to go ahead and dial this uh, 
finger wheel here real quick, the rotary, and I want to let that spin. Now you notice this cam is turning. Well, it's not even hitting the points. The points are right here. It's out of adjustment because it's nowhere near our points and it's in the wrong location. So if there was an attempt to wire this over the years and make it work, they would have had to repair a lot of other issues before this telephone would have ever worked properly or dialed out. This cam is supposed to ride and cause these points to fluctuate and it doesn't. It's nowhere near the situation. There's also a piece of linkage here on the center axle of our rotary that holds it together and it has a little prong on it that's supposed to sweep back on its finish cycle and it's supposed to um, grab these points here and make sure that they contact so that's not working either so at some point someone tried to adjust it and just got lost in working on it and everything just kind of went awry from there this gives you a look at the unit so we want to get a start on this unit and we'll take a short break We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And we're in the middle of the process of repairing this candlestick telephone. And we were working on the rotary. And we want to do a check on the rotary now that we have that repaired. And we're going to use the analyzer because we want to go ahead and test that and then start working on some other issues. So we're going to go ahead and plug the unit in. It seized the analyzer and we're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. You can see now that we have a smooth return and it's dialing properly. I'm going to end in a 2. Now what we want to do is start over again. And we're going to dial out one more time. So we'll go ahead and start with a 1. And I'll end in a 2. We'll go ahead and unplug the unit. So we know that this telephone is dialing out properly and the rotary has been repaired. We're going to start on some of the other issues and I also need to uh, start building our electronic transmitter for our transmit section, our amplified transmitter. So we'll go ahead and take a short break. We'll start working on that and then we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this candlestick telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this candlestick telephone, and we're gonna run through a little bit about what's going on at this point. We've went ahead and installed our cloth line cord. So that's been installed. We also are working on the receiver capsule. When this telephone came in, we had our receiver capsule, and this is the cap that they had on the receiver capsule, but the receiver capsule did not work. So that was repaired. This cap was removed. We're going to set that to the side. It's of no use to us, and I'm not sure where they got it. It was just something that they probably put on it for the sale on eBay and that's when Art picked this telephone up and that was what it came in with. What we did was we upgraded our receiver capsule and since the receiver capsule is of the period 
We also installed a receiver capsule that was to the period, and it has some wear and tear on it, just like the original receiver capsule has. So it fits uh, the period, and now we have our receiver capsule that's proper to the handset. Now we also installed a piece of felt because normally what would be behind this receiver capsule is a metal circle, a diaphragm, and that's been taken out because the receiver capsule has been upgraded. So we want to go ahead and set this down and we're going to turn on our amplifier. If you know anything about our videos, we use this pickup in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checks. And it's so that you can hear the audio from a receiver on our checks. So I want to go ahead and plug the unit in and it's going to seize the analyzer. We're going to give you some dial tone here. We'll go ahead and hang up. We'll dial a 2. That showed up on the analyzer. We're going to hang up. We can turn the amplifier off because we know we have dial tone. We're just kind of doing some test. We'll unplug the unit. Now what I want to talk about is we've already been through the rotary. This has been oiled, cleaned, and adjusted like we showed earlier and we have a nice smooth return and it's dialing like it's supposed to. We also rewired this telephone on the inside. Everything uh, was pretty much improperly wired. It wasn't where it was supposed to be and so that was an issue and we took care of that and our line cords finished. So this part of the telephone is finished up. What we want to talk about is our amplified transmitter that we build and design here at the shop. So we need to install this. It's the last thing that we want to do. We're going to go ahead and install that in the transmitter section and we're going to go ahead and do that now. We'll come back and get our final check out as soon as we finish that up. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this rotary candlestick telephone, and we're ready to start our final checks. And we're going to go ahead and include the bell box in the final checkout. We'll let that ring a few times, and then we'll disconnect it, and then we'll start our checks on the telephone. So we'll go ahead and ring the unit with the analyzer, and we're going to let that go a few times. It's a very nice bell box. And we'll let that go one more time. We'll give you some dial tone. And we'll disconnect the bell box now. Now what we want to do is we want to dial our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. And every time you see this red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. Now I'm at least two foot away from this telephone. And you can see how bright that light's getting. And that's way over 100% modulation. So you really don't have to get up to the spit cup to talk into this telephone. In the old days, uh, they would have had to get right up into the spit cup and you know it was harder to hear people back in, in the day and you would have to talk right into the spit cup. And a lot of people don't like doing that any longer and that's why these amplified 
electronic transmitters that we design and build here at the shop uh, are cool because you don't really have to get right up next to the telephone. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hang the unit up. Now that we know that it's ringing in on a ring cycle over here at the bell box, we're dialing out, we have receive and transmit, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Okay, we can hang up, give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Make that call. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Art and he can enjoy this telephone now. Very cool AT&T rotary candlestick telephone and he's got a very cool bell box that he located later and then purchased that. We also want to mention that we needed a plate for the bottom of the telephone and we located a plate that could be used and it turned out pretty nice. Although it's not original to the telephone, it, uh, it worked out really well. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.